There are three reruns on the banner for version 2.5 and Honkai Star Rail. But I think having three reruns on the same banner, it's the worst idea for free to play players. And here's why. Greetings citizens of the internet, my name is B Hyorin, the Hyorin VTuber that making. And in this video, I want to discuss about the three rerun character on the banner for Honkai Star Rail. Now, this video does not argue that these three reruns characters are bad in any way, shape, or form. But I want to talk about why three reruns on the same banner are the worst idea for many free to play players in Honkai Star Rail. On the rerun banner for version 2.5, we currently have Robin, Kafka, and Black Swan. And they are some of the best limited premium characters in the game. I won't go too deep into why they're the best, but to give a quick rundown, we have Robin who provides advanced forward for all allies in the team and attack boost in the team. Kafka is a damage overtime dealer that inflicts shock, and Black Swan supports Kafka due to Arcana dot stack. Each character is highly valuable depending on what kind of team you want to build, but so why is this bad? Well, if you are a free to play player, you must choose wisely who you want to pick. Not to mention that we also have a new powerful DPS character, Fei Xiao, on the new character banner at the same time that these rerun characters banner will be active on. If you're watching this after the version came out, then you know how difficult to choose which one you want. So, Honkai Star Wars player base is mostly adult, especially a working adult or someone in college. So if you want to pull, say like Robin and Kafka, then you may have to spend some money to buy the Stellar Jade. And it is not guaranteed that you'll be able to pull these characters successfully because it is a gacha game after all. Most of us probably do not have the money or don't even want to spend at all on the gacha pool. And even if we do have the money, you must be careful who we spend it on because like I said, it is not guaranteed that you will win the pool in the gacha game. These three Characters are also valuable that I think it could cause some players to feel overwhelmed to choose. Of course, there is an option to skip them all, but if you do that, you won't know exactly when these characters will return. You will, may have to wait for months or years for them to come back on the rerun banner. So if there's at least one character you want and they're available on the banner right now, then you should pull for that character right now. I don't know precisely why Holy Voice made the rerun to have three characters this time around, but I hope this is not a common thing to do from now on. Of course, they are a gacha company whose goal is to make money, so they know there will be players who will spend a lot of money on pulling these characters. These two characters on the rerun battle for version 2.5 are very worthy and not the exception to the rule. The best advice I can give for free-to-play players like you guys is to choose whoever you like the most and good luck with pulling them because that's the best thing we can do when playing this kind of game. If you're critical of who you want to pull, look at your account and ask yourself, what do I need the most versus what do I want? Don't feel too pressured to pull any characters in this patch because you want to enjoy playing the game at the end of the day. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think having three rerun characters on the same banner a worse thing for Honkai Star Rail and its player base? Let me know down in the comment below. And if you enjoy watching this kind of video, please consider giving me a like. Hit the subscribe button and if check out my other Honkai Star Wars related content here on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time. But don't forget, don't poo for the meta, poo for the waifu.